This is the dilations practice. Okay, so in math, the word dilate means to um, expand or contract. If a scale factor is less than one, then your figure gets smaller, so it gets contracted or smaller. closer together, more compact. If the scale factor is greater than one, then your figure gets expanded or larger. If you multiply by a number greater than one, that number is gonna get bigger. If you multiply by a number that's less than one, but greater than zero, it's gonna get smaller. So dilations, all we're doing is multiplying the coordinates by the scale factor here. So we have uh, the points J is 2, 4. The point K is 1, 1. And the point uh, L is 4, 0. Okay. Uh, scale factor is 2. So we're going to make this new triangle twice as large. Or it's going to expand, so it's going to be Everything's going to be twice as far um, from the origin. So 2, 4. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So we're going to 4, 8. That is J prime. K was 1, 1. So 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. So 1, 1 is going to go to 2, 2. That's K prime. And then four zero, so four times two is eight. Zero times two is zero. Eight zero. There's our expansion. Everything is twice as far away. It was at four, now it's at eight. It was at one one, now it's two two. Over two up four, now it's over four up eight. Everything is, to, all the points are twice as far from the origin as they were before. It's all expanded by Okay, number five, we have quadrilateral MNOP. That's right after, well, oh, never mind. I was gonna say it was right after LMNO, but it's only after L. Um, M is one, three. Uh, N is uh, three, two. O is 2, negative 2, and P is negative 1, 0. So our scale factor here is 3. The origin is our center of dilation, so everything's expanding outward from the origin. 1, 3, uh, scale factor is 3, so that's going to be 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9, so it's 3, 9. That's M prime. N is 3, 2. 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 3 is 6. So 9, 6. That's going to be N prime. 2, negative 2 is O. So we're getting 3 times as far away from the origin. So 3 times 2 is 6. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. That's O prime. Negative 1, 0 is getting 3 times as far away, so that's going to be negative 3, 0. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3, 0 times 3 is 0. Okay, and that's P prime. There you go. Every point on that quadrilateral is now 3 times as far away as it was originally as far away from the origin as it was originally. Number six, we have a scale factor of 
And 1.5 is still greater than 1, so it's still an expansion. Our points here are negative 4, 2, 6, 0, and negative 2, negative 4. Scale factor is 1.5. Negative 4 times 1.5 is negative 6. 2 times 1.5 is 3. So we have negative 6, 3. That's x prime. 6 times 1.5 is 9. 0 times 1.5 is 0. Negative 2 times 1.5 is negative 3. 4 times 1.5 is 6. So we have negative 3, negative 6. That's z prime. So every point on this new triangle is one and a half times as far away from the origin as they were on the original triangle. All three of those were expansions. Seven here is going to be a contraction. It has a scale factor of one third. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to name our point. So this is three nine. N is 6, 0. Uh, o is 3, negative 6. And P is negative 3, 0. We're going to multiply by 1 third. 3 times 1 third is 1. 9 times 1 third is 3. So M prime is 1, 3. 6 times 1 third is 2. 0 times 1 third is 0. Three times one third is one. Negative six times one third is negative two. Wait, yeah. Okay, negative three times one third is negative one. Zero times one third is zero. That's gonna be P prime. So we can connect our points. And all those points are gonna be one third closer to the origin than they were in the original quadrilateral. Number eight, they're giving us the original figure, the original quadrilateral, and then they're giving us the primes are gonna be the new image. Okay, so we can see that it's a contraction. So it's getting smaller. So the scale factor here is going to be less than 1, greater than 0, less than 1. Okay. Um, if we can't do this visually or just by counting out points, we can write our points down and see what happens. So we have the point M, which is 3, 3. Okay, 3, 3 is going to go to 1, 1. N is, three, N is 9, negative 3. 9, negative 3 is going to go to 3, negative 1. O is negative 6, negative 9. And it's going to negative 2, negative 3. And then we have negative 6, positive 6, which is going to negative 2, positive 2. Okay, we really only need to pick one of these. So let's take the first one, the 3 and a 1. So what do we need to multiply by? So I'm, gonna, I'm calling that x, 3x. Three, three so we need to multiply 3 by something in order to get 1. Divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals 1 third. So our scale factor is 1 third. So we're contracting. by a factor, by a factor of one third. Or dilating, we could say dilating, probably is better here. Dilating. We're really contracting by a factor of three, maybe. I'm not sure on the terminology there. Um, 
Right, because contracting implies that you're getting smaller. So are you really contracting by a factor of one third or are you contracting by a factor of three? You're dilating by a factor of one third, but are you contracting by one third or contracting by three? I think it would be contracting by three, right? So we're gonna go with dilating by a factor of one third because our scale factor is one third. So you can do it visually. It's, all the points are three times as close or a third as far. Um, or you can, how do you go from three to one? How do you go from nine to three? How do you go from negative three to negative one, from negative six to negative two? You multiply by one third. That's the first half. So in the table, the table below shows the coordinates of our triangle RST and the coordinates of R prime in triangle R prime S prime T prime. Triangle R prime S prime T prime is a dilation of triangle RST. So basically they want us to find the scale factor from R to R prime so we can find S prime and T prime. Okay. So that's what part A is asking. What are the coordinates of point S and point T? Well, we know we have negative two, negative three, going to negative six, negative nine. Okay, how do we go from negative two to negative six? We need to multiply by three. So our scale factor is So how do you go from zero to the S prime? You're gonna multiply by three. Three times zero is zero. Three times two is six. Three times two is six. Three times negative three is negative. So zero, six, six, negative. Okay, we use the R to R to prime to find our scale factor. So all these points got three times as far from the origin. As they were originally this was two negative three it was down two it was left two down three then it went to left six down nine so it's three times as far um, expanded three times as much okay part b on the grid below draw triangle rst and okay well we have negative two negative three 0, 2, and 2, negative 3. So ne 0, 2, and 2, negative 3. Then we, what do we have? Negative 2, negative 3, right? So there was our original triangle. Let me just double check the points. Negative 2, negative 3, 0, 2, and negative 2, negative 3. Well, our scale factor was three, so our point should have been six, zero. Did we have the point six, zero? I think we had a point six, zero. We should have. And then we had a point negative six, negative nine. And then we had a point six, uh, six. Okay, and so here's our triangle. All those points on the blue triangle are three times as far from the origin as the red points on the red triangle are. Okay, last uh, section here, we got, what, five problems? Yeah. Okay, so we're dilating triangle ADI, so let's draw triangle ADI. Negative one, negative one, zero, two, three, one. There's triangle ADI. Okay. We're expanding by a factor of two. So negative one, negative one becomes, scale factor is two, so we just multiply by two. That becomes negative two, negative two. Okay, 0, 2 goes to 0 times 2 is 0, 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, and then 3, 1. Again, multiply by 2, that becomes 6 and 2. 
Okay, so negative 2, negative 2, uh, 0, 4, and 6, 2. All the points on that triangle are now twice as far away as they are from the original triangle. What are the important pieces of information given for a dilation? We need to know the scale factor. We need to know the um, origin, the center of dilation, which is usually almost always the origin. For our purposes. And then we need to know the original points, original figure. Um, original coordinates. 11 and 12. So we're going to dilate by a scale factor of 2 from the origin. So again, multiply by 2, that becomes negative 2, 0, negative 2, 4, negative 4, 2. Okay, so let's draw the original in blue. Uh, negative 1, 0, negative 1, 2, negative 2. It's not a triangle. Oh, negative 2, 1. Okay, that, that, that is a triangle. Okay. And then our new one here in red. So we have negative 2, 0, or black, I guess. So in red. We have negative 2, 0, negative 2, 4, negative 4, 2. Okay, so all these points are twice as far from the origin as they were originally. Okay, next one, the scale factor of 3, so we're just multiplying by 3. So negative 1 times 3 is negative 3, negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. 1 times 3 is 3, 0 times 3 is 0, 0 times 3 is 0, and 1 times 3 is 3. So our original finger, let's do it in blue. Negative 1, negative 2, 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay, we're expanding up from the origin, outward from the origin, by a factor of 3. We had 3, 0, uh, 0, 3, and negative 3, negative 6. 13 and 14. Scale factor of 1 half. So let's draw our original first. We have negative 4, 0. We have negative 4, 4, and we have negative 2, negative 2. So there's our triangle. And we're going to expand, or we're not expanding, we're contracting because our scale factor is less than 1. It's between 0 and 1. So we're contracting. Um, so we're multiplying by 1 half. So negative 4 times 1 half is negative 2. 0 times 1 half is 0. Negative 4 times 1 half is negative 2. 4 times 1 half is 2. Negative 1, negative 1. Okay. Multiply all the coordinates by 1 half. Then let's plot them. We have negative 1, negative 1. Got half as close to the origin. We have negative 2, positive 2. Got half as close to the origin. Then we have negative 2, 0. Half as close as it was before. Okay, all the points got twice as close um, to the origin half as far. Okay, the last one is a little bit different because we're not um, expanding from the origin. We're expanding from the point negative one, two. So we got to use some critical thinking skills on this one. Okay, let's look at the point negative one, positive two. I'm going to plot our original triangle in blue. So we have negative one, negative one. We have one, zero. And we have negative 1, 2, which is the point we're expanding from. So let's start with the first one. Negative 1, 2. So if we're expanding from the point negative 1, 2 and we're on negative 1, 2, it's just going to stay negative 1, 2. Right? Just like if we had a point on the origin, 0, 0, and we expanded by any scale factor, it would still be 0, 0. Zero times any scale factor is zero. 
right. Um, so now let's look at what we got. So we're expanding away from the point zero or negative one, two by a factor of two. So let's look at the point negative one, negative one. Negative one, negative one is three units away straight down from the point, the center of dilation, the point where we're expanding from. So if it's three units away and our scale factor is two, it now has to be six units away. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's expanding out in the uniformly in all directions. So if this one's straight down three units, when you expand by a, dilate by a factor of two, it's now going to be down six units. Because three times two is six. So our new point is negative one, negative four. Um, we have the point then, one zero. One zero is two down and two to the right of the point of the center of dilation. So we're expanding uniformly in all directions. So if we went down two and over two originally, and we're expanding by a factor of two, we're not going to be down four over four. So we're going to be here at the point three negative. Okay. So our original triangle started on the center point. Okay, now we've just moved all the points twice as far away. And that is it for the um, dilation practice.